then we'll see that as it starts on. Yeah. Okay, welcome back everybody. One, two, one, two, testing, testing. So, whilst you've been away and hopefully you've been enjoying your dinner um, and putting your children to bed and watching Coronation Street, we've actually been working on Claire, Mrs. Hill's hair. Um, Claire, of course. You love it, don't you? I'll call you that. Um, we've been working on Claire's hair, so nice bit of photography. I like it. Are you turning that camera to the side? That's good. I'm into that. So, what we've been doing is we've been working on half of her hair. Now, we're going to be working with the muck styling stick, and we're actually going to be doing the other half for you now. So you can see we've got the muck styling stick over here. We've got the red arnic lights inside, which then take away the negativity in there and turn it into positivity. So basically, when it's static, it calms it down. That's the beautiful thing about it. So you'll see now, I've saved all this. This is literally how it looks at the beginning. So we're going to go from this side, as it looks now, to then finish it to what this side is now. So I've prepared all this kicking out and everything all into position. So when the product comes into it later, you'll see the effect. Now obviously in order to get to that point we've just got to just go through it now and just tease it up you can see I've saved everything for you so I didn't want anybody to miss out at home to see how it works so you just use the plate slightly kick it round again when you're doing this cut you've got to think about preserving length in certain areas I'm just putting a slight bit of a bend off this in one go the idea being in a minute when we put the product on it will all come together you could bend this in so it goes into the nape but the idea is when the product comes on later i really want to be able to see this movement on there which is what it's all about we've got any takers yet anybody come on kevin warren karen warren's back again good evening karen warren which i'm guessing donna morris is there also maybe the children are watching also as well tonight lynn atkinson lynn atkinson's back nice to see lynn it's lynn marie atkinson Right, here we go. And Grace is on there, no doubt. It's gonna be a late night for you, Grace. It's a good job we're not doing the double build tonight. We were actually quick put the camera on to me. Yeah. Okay, we were. Hi. Uh, hello, one two. We were actually going to do a double build tonight, which meant we would have been working until probably 10:30 tonight. But sadly, the second model cancelled. So we may do that probably next week. Do a live double build, which means Grace has really got to be nice to her mum and dad in order to stay up till late so she can watch all of it. Or well, it's a pre-recorded job. So as we go through the sides now, you can see, again, it's just re-emphasising. Again, straighteners, style sticks, you've got to think about how it's been cut. Now, if I turn it to this side, you can see immediately, it brings the cut out straight away. It's just that little turn to the side. So again, some people, when they come to the salon, what they do is, we'll ask them, what do you do with your hair? And they'll say, I'll just pull it down straight. So if you turn it slightly to the side, you get more of a finish. There's a bit of elevation in this now, so when I say elevation, it's coming up in the air, elevating, right at the fringe. Donna Morris, put my turn now, please. My turn now, please. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really want it doing? <laughs> it's a shame you don't need it doing, you could have come down later. <laughs> but it's fine, I'm going for a run <laughs> tonight. I need to do a run, but you, you get your turn very soon, don't worry. So now you can see by doing this, you just sort of start to get the movement in there and the finish, I can really see what I'm going with. So again, you've got to think about what you've done with the cut and how it's going to land and how the guest is going to be able to handle it as well. So we can sort of see now the shape's coming through. And again, that just finishes it out. Right, so now we're into personalisation, which means we're going to go through with thinning scissors, electronic clippers, just to make sure that everything sits and looks more natural with the finish. Okay, so just leave those. Again, back over with the protection. So we don't want any hair to go down your neck, do we? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> That's it all together now. No. no. Right, so 29 teeth and a blade gives us a pair of thinning scissors. Now, thinning scissors are really important to use uh, properly because you've got to be able to, with thinning scissors, think about how the hair's going to lie, how it's going to move. You can manoeuvre thinning scissors around wherever you want to, as long as you keep the blade moving. Okay, so Nick. with this, Nick McCaffrey. Yeah. Nick, great to see you, brother. I hope you're okay. Please give me a date, and then we can then book in so we can come around for Sunday lunch or whatever we plan to do. Big uh, good evening also to Sharon. I'm sure she's there. I hope she's well. Nice to see you with us. I'm guessing you're from Germany tonight, live. Wherever you're from tonight, brother. Uh, I hope you're okay. In that respect. So now what we're doing is just turning it around as we're cutting and this thing gives us that feel just there. And again you'll find that by moving the blade, you can see that's just lifting it off just slightly, it gives it a very natural, oh look at how you're nodding your head, it's great. <laughs> Rachel Atkinson. Rachel Atkinson, how are you? Great to see you with us tonight, I hope uh, Nathan's with us tonight, tuning in, watching live. 
from the other end of the village, if you were to drive past, you would see us in here. It is live. It's no pre recording tonight. But great to see what's up in here. To you both. So you'll see now the shapes coming through. And that now gives us the bit ready for when the wax goes in. When the wax goes in, that'll all come alive. So now just coming through the sides again, just making sure everything's nice and soft. Again, the pixie bit, you just turn it slightly to the side. That then prepares it a bit more. You can see it's still going a bit more softer just on the edges. And again, through this part, we're just going to go through there and just make sure that's nice and soft. Hamilton. Linda Hamilton, great to see you with us tonight from the salon. How are you? Sweet. I knew you'd call at some point. Hopefully, Alan's on there as well. Uh, no, I won't say anything about men washing clothes, but uh, are you okay? You're having a great night. <laughs> we are. Okay, so now just going through to the side. Just make sure everything's okay. And again, it's all thinking about how it turns with the blade to give us the effect. Again, you can use the thinning scissors wherever you wish as long as you keep the blades moving as you're doing it. Because again, if you don't keep them moving, it doesn't do the shape. Flip the camera around so that um, so you can wave to Linda because she'll love that. Yeah, Laura Westerner. Laura Westerner, how are you? Great to see you. I've not seen you on the road for a long time. I promise next time to flash my headlights. Oh, yeah. All right. Be careful what I say. Flash my headlights. I said once I'll give you a flash. Most people would assume it's the wrong kind of flashing. That's why I said flash the headlights. Great to see you with us, Laura. Hope you're okay. And the family as well. As well. So now you can see just by doing this, it just keeps it soft. Right, so now we're going to go through the top part again, just moving it around with this. Josh Brown. Josh Brown. <sighs> um, I'm really sorry, Josh, that I didn't get back to you about the straighteners. Again, the irons, I thought about it the other day because I have so many requests. If you still are after a pair of um, straighteners, these are what I'd recommend, what I use. Come and see me and I will organise a pair for you. Okay. My apologies again, because I uh, didn't speak to you, so there you go, you see, live and direct across the camera tonight, just down the road there, the OK brother anyway, happy new year. So through the top now, just softening it off with the thin scissors, and then what we'll do then is we'll go into Claire's hair with a pair of scissors again, and then we'll come back in with electric clippers to finish off, and then we'll be into another styling product. Stuart Stuart. Stuart. Stuart, great to see you with us tonight. Be okay. Disco Stu. Woo! Hope you're okay. Great to see you with us tonight. More of the Saxon crew tonight. I missed you not with me on a Sunday when we were doing the uh, the weight training. Hopefully you'll be with us again on Primal soon. It's always good. We've got to go this way so we can keep the film on. Nice angle, nice angle. I like it. Excellent. Very creative, Chloe. Very creative. If we had an audience, I'd say give, give Chloe a round of applause tonight for stepping in for that. It's brilliant. Been to college all day, learning the craft, and then here tonight working with us. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Dedication. Right, so now as we're coming through this part, we can sort of see what we've got. I'm just going to go now a little bit of stroking. So on the side, flick the blade, and again by doing that, it just softens it out a little bit more. It's almost like a razor, but with a pair of scissors. It's literally just coming in there, taking a few bits of the edges off again. It just works really nice to give us that softness. Put a bit fixed in one position like so. I just have to think of the viewers at home. So again, you've got to think about your products, what you're going to be doing as you come on to a finish, and also how the finish is going to work. So say we'll come into this later with a pair of uh, electronic clippers in a minute and do some finishing off. Right, now we'll use a pair of scissors. These are really quite nice. These produce a convex and concave shape, these do, so it's quite nice. I'm going to run a convex through first, after we've done the length, so to make sure that's Rachel level. Sale. Rachel Sale. How are you, Rachel? Great to see you. Happy New Year to you and uh, Jason. I've seen you for a while. We need to uh, see about you coming on to do a bit of modelling for us. It'd be really good. Hope you're well. The top end of it. Nice to see you got on as well live tonight to watch us rather than the pre recorded. So great to see you with us tonight. Hope the fun as well. So we'll just use the edge of the blade. Now I'm going to use the convex part, which is the rounded part of the cup. So now just lift it up. What you get is the length at the front, the length at the back, and the weight in between, which then you use the convex, which takes it off, which is like a triangle of weight, which 
why I'll be doing this at college scene if you've not done it already. That's what they asked to do, take triangles of weight out. And that just keeps it going nice. As the fringe grows out at an even length, the weight removal just makes it so that it still maintains its body. I do this a lot, this is what you want that's done on that fringe. Yeah. That's it. That's that's the that's the breakdown, so you can actually show your mum that and say this is exactly what the technical part of it is. Hopefully she'll be impressed. Hopefully the champ's watching. And Richard. By the way, if you're watching Richard tonight, um, Claire will be ready in about 20 minutes. So uh, we'll try and text you in a minute and then we'll sort of right. say when we're going to be available. All right. So as we approach towards the end of the haircut now, we'll just do a little bit of a twist cut in there. Again, using the shank of the blade just to soften it out for more lift, which again is really important. And then what we do now is use the electric clippers. So looking at the cut, when we think about how we position it, again as I said earlier on about it's really important to position the hair as it's on the side. So now as you can see, I, I need it to be lined exactly where I want it to lie with the pixie. So I'll just get the clippers using the edge of it as if it's like the corner of a comb. Just putting that on and then just softening it through and that then just breaks that line up just slightly and gives it a more softer effect. Again. These are all things that are practiced and used at Scott Bay Hairdressing daily and what I'm teaching as well. A lot of the students when they do this they'll say, are you sure that's what you want me to do? Yes I am sure. Because again it's creative use of tools which then creates a more softer effect. All you're doing is softening the line out which just gives it a nice effect. Right and again through here we'll now use the clippers things. Through the top just go in there again soften it out which again through the crown you could just use this on the edges it just really gives it a bit more of a softer effect which is really important and then again just using the hand because you've already got the products in and you sort of see it all fall naturally if it wasn't falling properly it'd stick up like a cockatoo but you can see it's a <laughs> yeah okay so so when we come towards the finale now, Chloe's thinking to herself, thank God for that, I can rest my arm. <laughs> so again, make sure the hair's off the face, shake it all loose. Right, so to begin with, our next product tonight will be hair lacquer. So the idea with the hair lacquer is I'll put, put this on, or layer it on first to be able to see the movement in the hair. So let's put this, this almost gives you a taste of where hair's going to go and where it's going to lie so I can sort of see what it's doing. So this sort of layers the wardrobe first. You only want a very slight amount of it, and then by doing this, you can start to see the cut come alive a little bit on there, so you can see the movement on it. So if you use too much, it will just really layer it down. We don't want that. So now I can go into the last product, which is how Muck, the company started nearly 11 years ago with the hard muck products. Now what this will do is, it's a great product, I use this on my hair. It's quite a hard product, so you need just enough to cover your finger, and then what you do then is rub it well into the hands. Now, this is the bit that is really gonna finish it out. So we, we need a product that's gonna bring out all the texture, all the movement, and give us a nice natural effect at the same time. So we just go into it with the fingers. That's all on the balls of the fingers because what we're doing is we're thinking about how it was cut. So you can see as I put that through from your angle you should see how it breaks up and gives it a real natural effect and all of a sudden the hair looks really thick on there. I mean obviously there's a lot of hair but we just want it to look a little bit more fuller and a little bit more almost like dusted off so it just looks that a little bit more casual. Again I'll take photographs of Claire's hair once I've finished it as I normally do, we've still got the other three photos to put up from the other three models yet, which they'll go on shortly, it's certainly within the next few days. Then you'll see all this all on close up, how I've done it. Tracy Williams, what are you doing? Tracy Williams, how are you Tracy? Nice to see you. I hope your hands are alright after the, uh, the challenge. You, you did really well there with SJ. I was really, really proud of the pair of you. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Unbelievable, I hope you're well and I hope you've had a good run. If you've had a run tonight, I'm guessing you went out with the, uh, the Tuesday Running Club. Great to see with us. So now we can sort of see this again, just breaking up. Julie Ball. Julie Ball, hello Julie Ball. Great to see you with us tonight live. Excellent, I hope you're well. 
good to see you there. Thanks for asking about my dad, as with all of you that have been asking about my dad. He's doing well, he'll be back soon. Right now through to the top, just a little bit more. And again, this is the important part now, because we've got to get it right on the top. So I'm going into the top now, coming through, moving it through with the fingers, then we move it through with the fingers. It should turn this way so the camera can see it. And there we go. All of a sudden, right now you can see the colours change, the whole looks change. Now we've got softer bits coming out, the razor cut really comes alive because remember this predominantly was all cut with a razor blade which then brings everything out and you can see what it's all about in there. A little touch, the nice thing is the hair is set in the position where we need it to go. All, all this now is a question of just manoeuvring it around, getting rid of any holes, any bits that don't sort of drop into the cut right, any little uh, pockets. It just finishes it out and you can see that if there's any bits you need to work on the cut afterwards. And then just shake it out and again it gives us that real dusty casual effect. Because again, this is what people are after now, very tousled looks, which are very popular. Okay, and then to finish off, just to wow, hold it into position. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> then all we do then is just literally just give it a very light spray over with the hair mug to finish off with. Okay, so our little, uh, we'll go through our products again in a minute, what we used. Let's just bring the hair around this way. I might need your glasses on for this. If you've got your glasses on, you can go, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so if you stand up for a moment, we need to just talk again about what's going on. So, right, so that's all the line. So, Let's talk about where we started at the beginning. So we started at the very beginning of this journey with um, the, the razor blade and it was cut. So we started off with the horseshoe section through the top, which then gave us the allowance of moving through the back and sides with the hair cut. So we started with this side, which we came through, and we started literally moving as a traveling guide. So the whole thing moved round at an angle, which then preserved the length on the side, which you can see now and it meant that we took the corner out. So by taking the corner out, it gives it the strongest shape of the sides. We then pivoted round to the sides, which then came through to the front, which you can see now, that brought all the softness through onto the face, which automatically gave us that shape. We then did a middle parting, which then allowed us to go through that middle part of the haircut, which then preserved all of this bulk around here, which gave us a stronger shape on the upper proccipital bone. We then went through the top, giving ourselves a rounded shape from the apex through to the upper occipital bone, which you now see with the shape. Ugh. You see, basically it's giving us the, li the lift on the top and the fullness. We then went through the top and worked nine through to 12 and 12 through to three, which again you'll see with the shape, it gives us a real softness and a real bit of moving. I said, so you can see as you come all the way around, as you rotate, you can see how it moves and we preserved the fringe, which is what we wanted to do. We then put a convex, shape into the fringe which gave us a natural look we used the razor blade through the fringe through the sides and the electric clippers through here and the thinning scissors which again marry the back through to the top and i think that with all this effect it gives it these little pockets of movement we then used obviously products we started off with the fat muck volumizing spray which then thickened the hair up a little bit more with the panther on it which then gave us a little bit more lift we then used the fat muck blowout mousse sculpting foam so I should say which then gave us the basis to start from which was the foundation of the cut which also gave me the chance to see the hair as it moved naturally. We then went into filthy muck which we then broke off so nobody could see the blow dry but we put that in first to blow dry which then contained products which um, protect the hair against humidity and also gave us a little bit more thickness with the blow dry even more and plenty of movement. We then disappeared, came back and we used uh, the styling stick from Muck which then allowed us to then flick it out, bring it round, give us more natural movement and give us a little bit more oomph on the top. We then went back into the cut after we'd done that and then finished off with the absolute crescendo which was the hard Muck to finish off with which again was using the balls of the fingers, the creative use of the hand to bring out the shape. Because again, if it's too set looking, it will just look flat. We needed to see that movement. Again, you'll look, I'm sure you'll agree, it's good as nice little toy, right? Sure you'll agree, it just works really well. Nice shape, nice and natural. Hopefully it's something that everybody has really enjoyed and can see something off that. Thank you, Claire. It's really nice. Okay, I'm pleased you like it. Have a little see for a second. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. Thanks for being a modeler. 
for this. So again, as I say, Cyclone will say something. Ross Cunningham. Ross Cunningham, good to see you. The parietal ridge, you can see how the parietal ridge works through there, brother. My sweet baby, you can see how it works. So, I wanted to say thank you very much personally to Claire tonight for being a model. We've been a great model, but what a great way to showcase a short haircut all cut off a razor blade then intermixing a little bit of use of the scissors. It's all the techniques, but again, you have to think about hand positioning, body positioning, the use of the product, how the product works for you. As I say, it's a journey. The whole thing has been a journey, but to see a great finish like this with great products and literally the creative use of the styling tools, you can see how it all comes together. Thank you so much to Chloe also tonight, our apprentice at Scott Valley Hairdressing, for being an excellent camera person this evening. And also to our sponsors over in Australia, Mook and Mook Central in the United <laughs> Kingdom, who without you, uh, we wouldn't be able to do this with products, so thank you very much. Ugh. You can see that it's absolute pleasure to be your artistic, well your UK artistic director. Again, Clive, Mark, Leo, if you're watching from Australia, you can really see I use these products well tonight and that's what it's all about. It is fantastic to use the Mook product and see what it can do in harmony with the cut. So those of you that are hairdressers, don't be afraid to try things differently. Go get yourselves a razor. Enjoy it and remember what I say though, practice. So those of you that are non-hairdressers that have been watching tonight, clients, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully it's been entertaining for you. Um, we always feel a real honour to do this. Uh, we couldn't do it without you, so thank you so much. So those of you that have supported us and supporters, thank you so much. In the meantime, we're going to love and leave you. And we'll be back again hopefully next week. To those of you that would like to bring your team to the salon, we're available on Scott Valley Cutting Education page on Facebook. For those of you that would like to invite me to your salon to teach your team, also go to Scott Valley Cutting Education uh, on Facebook or privately send me a message on my page and I'll only be too pleased to share these tricks and tips with you and your team in your salon. But in the meantime, thank you very much from Claire. Chloe and myself, live from Scott Belly Hairdressing tonight. We wish you a great evening. I'm going to uh, obviously pack down in a minute and go for a run. Uh, whatever you're doing for the evening, enjoy the evening. Chloe wants to talk. Jeremy Saxon. Jeremy Saxon! Great to see you on there tonight, Saxon. I'll see you tomorrow morning at 6am. I'm going for a run though first tonight and then I shall see you at 6am. Because remember Jeremy, there is only one 6am. Woo! I'll see you down there, okay? Take care, good night, God bless everybody. It's been a pleasure to entertain you. Good night. Ciao.